Hi, my name is Adam Salcedo and I'm a mental training consultant. What that means is that I work with athletes on the mental side of their game to help them perform at an optimal level consistently. I work, currently work over at Santa Clara University with multiple teams to assist them both in a team setting but also working with the individuals to help with their own mental game. Um, in addition to working at Santa Clara, I have a private practice where I work with athletes and exercises all over the Bay Area, once again to assist them in optimizing their mental performance. Um, as I approach you know, this challenge, the first thing that comes to mind is thinking about how you guys can identify your purpose. And so, sure, you may want to lose weight or transform the way that you look, but ultimately, getting down to the core of the reasoning behind this, this change is going to help you with maintaining your motivation. So thinking about the why is critical, meaning whether is it for yourself, is this for your family, um, is this something that you want to do because you're trying to maybe fit into that certain dress or pair of jeans, um, or are you trying to do this because ultimately you want to challenge yourself and make maybe learn something about yourself through this process. Identifying your purpose is really going to help you maintain that accountability towards yourself and ultimately combat those times when you find yourself with low motivation or when you're faced with a challenge, you're able to combat that challenge immediately with that purpose that you've been able to identify. Another main thing that I think about as, as you approach this uh, challenge is going to be able to uh, appreciate everything that you go through in this process. There are going to be high moments and low moments throughout this this challenge, so being able to appreciate the small and the large successes is going to be critical in terms of maintaining your confidence throughout this challenge. So, you know, every single day, try to find something that you're doing well, whether it be, you know, I was able to get my meals in today that I thought were appropriate for maintaining my nutrition. Uh, maybe it was I got my workout in today and I felt like I was able to really push myself. Being able to appreciate these things throughout this process will keep you on track and ultimately maintain your confidence level. One of the things uh, that I've, I've seen with my clients uh, that are examples that I can really help you uh, are, are being able to use your, utilize your support system. Uh, one of the things that's really great that's built into this program is that Facebook uh, group that you guys are going to be able to utilize. So being able to share and uh, receive feedback from one another is going to be helpful in maintaining your, your motivation, but also understanding that you're also going through this thing that someone else is going through as well. You know, that shared commonality of this process is really going to help you recognize that it is difficult and that there are going to be times where you might find yourself questioning whether or not you are making progress, but recognizing that everyone's progress is going to be a little bit different. And so accepting where you are currently and recognizing that you are making progress just by even continuing this challenge is critical for your, your own sense of accomplishment, but ultimately knowing that you are moving in the right direction. Another thing is, you know, to hold yourself accountable is maybe telling this goal to someone else. So yes, you have this support group within uh, your Facebook group as well as the people that are in this room today, but recognizing that maybe someone, a loved one that you have at home um, or a friend that you know might be someone else that you can tell this goal to, once again, to hold you accountable uh, throughout this uh, challenge. Finally, recognizing that these challenges, um, there are going to be setbacks. There are going to be times where there are going to be multiple challenges within this challenge. Um, all these opportunities for you to learn and grow um, are critical throughout this process. So you have a learning opportunity to, to recognize what areas you need to adjust and this is only going to make you better. So even if you have a setback, even if you feel like that, that you had a day where it didn't go your, the best that you could have done, that this is still one thing that you're going to be able to learn that's going to help you adjust and make that next day that much better, um, as opposed to looking at it as, oh, I'm, I had a bad day and now I'm off track. No, it's just a learning opportunity for you to be able to recognize that, you know, that it's not necessarily have to be a straight path. Uh, for success, but it can be ups and downs throughout that part as long as it's moving in an upward direction on a daily basis that can maintain that level of success. So thank you very much for your time. I hope that you're able to take something away from this that's helpful. And if you have any further questions, uh, Rambeer will be able to provide you with my email address so you can check in with me. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.